Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video to show you how to change the home button, the touch ID sensor in the iPhone 6 Plus. So the easiest way that I found to open this phone up is to get a suction pry tool like this. It's just a little pry tool and it works so much better than using the other ones and uh, just using suction cups on the front like these ones here. You can use these kind of like this, but I found it so much easier to use an actual tool like this. So the other thing we're going to be using is a little screwdriver a Torx size 0 and also we're going to be using a Phillips screwdriver size 000 and I wanted to show you these and I'll include links in the video description where you can find these tools if you're interested to work on this phone and to do this repair and any parts that I'll be using during this repair I'll include links in the video description for those as well to be sure to check them out. So first what you're going to want to do is power down your phone make sure it's turned off and then at the bottom right here there's two screws and they're for the Torx that I was talking about, the size zero, and you're going to want to remove these two screws right here. So next what you're going to want to do is take this pry tool and attach it as close to the home button as possible. If you have broken glass on here, what you can do is just put a piece of tape over it and that'll take care of that and then that'll have something to adhere to. And then so what you're going to want to do is just pry up a little bit. As you can see I got it started already. And then what I would recommend is, mine was a little bit stubborn, so if you go right in here and just carefully, I had a little plastic pry tool and just carefully pried up here a little bit, then it started coming right apart. So next what we're going to want to do is remove this suction cup tool. It's really easy to remove. Then we're going to want to pry up. I'll show you down in here. The next thing we're going to want to do, if you can see okay, is remove these five screws right here off this plate and you're going to need the little Phillips screwdriver and just make sure to keep them in the same order so you know which order they came off. So next, now that this connector is loose here, this plate, you can just grab it. I'm just going to use tweezers so you can see what I'm doing easily enough. And you just want to set that aside and then I would recommend having a plastic pry tool so it for sure doesn't short anything out and get under this connector right here, pry this connector up, and go ahead and pry this other connector up right there. And then if you lift these up, there's a third connector right there. Underneath that, there's a fourth connector. So once you get all four of those connectors loose, as you can see there, then the whole screen comes apart. Just like that. To change the home button, what you need to do is remove these two screws right here. So next you just remove this. I'm just using a tweezer so it's easy to see for me and then next what you'll need to do is remove this connector right here. So you just pry under it and then what you can do is just carefully pick up on the connector part and then you can just pry up, um, pull up very gently just to put a little pressure, don't pull very much and then just slide something else. You can see it's loose now, but I just wanted to show you. It has adhesive under it, so you just want to pry it up like that. And then I'm not going to change this whole home button because this is a brand new screen, so I just wanted to show you. But what you can do is you can push from this side and apply a little bit of pressure and push up on it. And then what you can do, like while you're doing that, you can use something like tweezers or something and get in under the very outside corner of this rubber and just kind of work your way around. It just has adhesive on it and while you, when you have it started just push in from the back side like this and it'll help to make it loose. And then you're probably going to need a new rubber gasket for this. The, these are really only good for one time use but you can see it only goes one way. The, the ribbon has to go this way but you can just set it right back down in there and make sure that it's stuck down good. And then you just want to make sure that this there's a little peg here, a little post that the hole in the ribbon cable has to sit down over and then you can just push down because it has adhesive. Then you can just go ahead and reconnect this connector right there. Then just grab your little metal piece like this and go ahead and put your two screws back in and they're both the same size so it doesn't matter which one goes where. So to reinstall the screen, just grab the screen and just use your fingers or whatever you want to use. I'm going to use my fingers. Hopefully you can see okay. And just start with the big connector and just kind of work your way down. The, 
The big connector of course goes first all the way towards the front, the top, and then the next one goes next in line. And then just do them kind of in order as they come down. And then this connector goes over there and then this connector goes on the bottom. And you can feel once they all pop in securely. Then you grab your shield and set it right down on there. And go ahead and put your five screws back in. If it's a lot easier to put these screws back in, you can turn this screen carefully like this and start doing these outside ones. And then without turning it too far to get to the last ones, then you can, once that plate is pretty much where it won't move, then you can put the last ones in like that. So then next what you will want to do is just grab your screen and there's little notches at the top here. Get those started in first. And you can just start pressing your screen in till it's down all the way. And then lastly, put your two screws back in the bottom down here with the torque screwdriver. And you're all set. Thanks for watching.